Okay. Back here on the mill. Got to drill and ream a quarter inch hole through this boss here. This will be for the crankshaft. Now that has to be one inch and 420 thousandths up from this reference surface. And from this surface here, three inches and 250 thousandths. So I got it set up. We'll find the edges with the edge finder. Uh, locate and lock the X and Y table. And uh, we'll drill through and we'll ream through. Bring you back in a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 20, 15-60 foots and ran my quarter-inch through it. forgot to turn the video camera on for the quarter-inch reaming, but you didn't miss nothing. Okay, so I drilled this hole through uh, 15-60 foots and ran my quarter-inch reamer through it. forgot to turn the video camera on for the quarter-inch reaming, but you didn't miss nothing exciting. Okay, now I got to spot face this with a half-inch end mill just to clean it up. So I didn't move nothing on the table. I just replaced my drill truck with a half-inch collet. I got this half-inch end mill in here. I'm just going to touch off on it. Then I'll replace the collet with my chuck and center this back with the axle, turning this upside down so I'm still on the same center line. So. I'm just going to touch off on this and just take a very slight facing cut.
Okay, so I don't know if you see what I did here. I did not move the X axis at all, so that should stay uh, the distance from here to the center line of the crank should still be the same, should be perfect. I just moved the Y axis in, I chucked up the crankshaft in the drill chuck to make sure that this is on center here. And nice and slowly. Everything is good. I just tightened everything back up. I'll raise the I'll raise the head, put the collet back in with the half inch end mill, and face that other side. 